What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, subscribers, and members? Y'all, I'm so tired. If y'all been seeing, I've been uploading back to back to back to back on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. I haven't even started with Instagram because Instagram is like my private account now. That's how I made it. But every now and then, I upload little clips there or whatnot. But I am tired. I did this haul on February the 15th. It is now February the 17th, 1.25 a.m. Okay, I was trying to get this done before midnight so y'all can get this video, but I know y'all don't care. Y'all are patient, so I appreciate y'all. Now, let me address this before somebody say something. Ooh, you are just rude. Ooh, the man was just doing his job, and I'm brutally honest. I wasn't mad at him for doing his job when he was checking the expiration dates, but I said what I said in the parking lot because I know what I'm talking about. If I was paying $25, $30 for this, he wouldn't have checked the expiration date. But because I've been in there about three days in a row, back to back to back, loading up, they go to checking dates. Let me check these dates so, you know, she ain't going to get everything. But, you know, and I saw the date on this one. I just didn't tell him. It's right there. You can barely see it because it's in white. But these expired 2022 can you see it right there can you see it december 2022 okay so the ones that i didn't get he took from me were the liquid gel okay and i guess that one showed the date on it clearly but he could not see the date here again it's hard to see to the naked eye and y'all know how my eyes are all of these are expired in 2022 however i tell you guys even if i was to sell these at a yard sale i always show people the expiration date and i tell them do your research or whatever but normally over-the-counter medications are good up to five years after the expiration date the stores just can't sell them past that expiration date or sell by date okay so, um, yeah, he was nice. He wasn't rude at all. And that's why I kept saying that he was really nice. He was just doing his job, I guess. But, yeah, full price and stuff. They ain't checking no expiration date. Y'all know this ain't my first rodeo. So, that's why I was just saying out loud. I'm not going to say it behind his back. I told him, you ain't got to worry about me coming to your register anymore. <laughs> and I laughed because I'm not being rude to him. And I, I giggle like that. It's not a nervous giggle or anything to let them know, hey, I'm not being rude because I can come off very strong. You know, if I would have just said, you ain't got to worry about me coming to your register anymore, they would have swore I had an attitude. So I'd put a little giggle behind it, letting them know, hey, this is not a threat towards you, you know. I mean, if he's the only one in there, of course I'll come. But y'all know how we are about our pennies, and we try to get them. And I, like I said, the purposes of the video, I be wanting y'all to see my haul. I don't care if these were expired in 1999. I was going to buy these for a penny just to show y'all. And if they're that old, guess where they're going? Right in the trash. I'm not about to be responsible for anybody even giving this to them. Like my family, my grandma, my own children. Okay? But anyway, yes. I just wanted to get that out of the way because, you know, newbies that come over here and they don't know my... Um, what do you call it? My personality and stuff like that. And when people first meet me or whatever, my personality can come out very, very strong. But y'all know I am the kindest person in the world unless you piss me off. Okay. All right. Let's get into this haul. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight boxes of naproxen sodium. Okay. And um, these are the 220 milligrams. I'm assuming that these are all the same. Like I said, I had one liquid gel, but he took that one. Um, the UPC number for this one ends in... I'm moving the camera around too much, so it's not focusing. Come on. 72... Hold on. 7296, it looks like. Yeah. 7296. Okay, I had to look outside the camera because I'm like, I can't see. It's blurry. The leg cramps. These have been in the clearance section forever as well. The UPC number on these. Oh, Lord. 1435 it ends in. Remember, it's on the receipt as well. So if you really want the UPC number, just wait around until I show you the receipt. This um, all-day allergy relief. 
let me see how old these are because um alani has allergies really bad and she can use these doesn't expire to september of this year 2024 and i also have to look for the age um oh, upc number ends in 9432 okay Adults and children six years and over. One 10 milligram tablet once per day. Okay, she could take these. So I will be keeping these for Alani. Um, expiration, same, September 2024. So yeah, those will be going to Alani, darling. Um, we got the Zyzal. I don't know why I was calling it Zycal. Looks like Zizel, Zizel, I don't know. Allergy medicine as well, 24 hours, sneezing, running nose, itchy. This may be for adults, I'm not sure. But if so, this is going to my husband. They have really bad allergies, him and Alani. And this doesn't expire to 2025 in October. The UPC number ends in 1017. You can always pause the video, take a screenshot. You know, if visuals don't help as well, just by memory. Just rewind the video um, and pause it. Uh, adults and children 12 to 64, 6 to 11, under 6 do not use. Okay, so Soleil, Lonnie and my husband can use these. Okay, but Soleil doesn't have allergies as far as I know. Let me knock on wood. Um, we got the Pure Z's, z -Quil, Vicks. Extended release melatonin helps you fall asleep and stay asleep. Hold on. I don't know if I want to stay asleep now. What that small print say? Next day grogginess. No next day grogginess. Okay. So no next day grogginess lets me know that I will wake up the next day. Because in them bold letters, it says, and stay asleep. I ain't trying to wake up dead. It's 14 tablets in him. This expires October 2024. UPC number ending in 1097. Okay. Have y'all ever tried melatonin? I haven't. I have not. And I've been wanting to try to see if I can get back on the right schedule. Y'all know I'm normally sleep during the day and up at night. But I don't like that because I miss most of the day and things that I be needing and wanting to do. I miss out. By the time I get up, everything is closing and I'm rushing. Take one tablet 30 minutes before bedtime. Allow more than six hours to sleep. I was trying to see um, the age. Is this just for adults or what? But I'll look over it. Okay. Um, also, let me see. So I got four of those. Three, four, eight of the naproxen. Two of the allergy. Two of the Zycal. And two of the pure Z's. Now, for the Twix. I saw these after um, I got my Valentine's Day balloons. And I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. So I got four of these. The Twix Salted Caramel. The UPC number ends in 4545, it looks like. Yes, 4545. And where would the expiration date be? On these bad boys. All right, they're on the brown. These expired in 2023. Nobody checked the expiration date for these, and this is food. Okay, but they still might be okay. We're just in February 2024. Okay, I'm filling them. They feel like regular Twix to me. I eat the regular ones. I literally just ate a Twix before I went to the store and got this one. The bigger pack, though. The regular Twix. I've never tasted this kind. I don't like trying new stuff, like when they come out with new flavors of everything. I just like the stuff simple, which I'm not simple all the time. Like when I dress and go out, I have to be extra and stand out. But as far as food and stuff like that, I'll be like, stop trying new stuff. Like leave it alone. When they came out with the big um, Butterfinger, it tasted so different. Like it was different ingredients in it or something. I don't know what it was, but I hate the big Butterfinger. Like I just like the regular size one. Now for my last thing in my penny home, 
I got my Valentine's Day balloons. I got four of them. One, two, three, four. And they're just going to go float away now. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show y'all my receipt. Here's the receipt for the medication. Okay. Let me see. Zoom in for y'all. All right. So you see the Zyzal. Two at once. I mean, one cent each. So two cent. The All Day Allergy. Two at one cent each. So two cent for those. Highlands leg cramps, four at one cent each, four cent. The naproxen, seven at one cent, total seven cent. The pure Z's, two at one cent each, total two cent. And another naproxen, one cent. So hold on. Naproxen, S-O-D-T, and that says S-O-D-C. So he didn't take that one off. Hold on, did he? Unless I have a different one. Because why one say T and one say C? Hold on. 220, 220. Caplets, caplets. 100, 100, 220, 220. Yeah, these are all the same. So I don't know what that is. Y'all see what I'm looking at? How that says C and that says T? I don't know. Because I know he took one off that he said was a liquid gel. But this says seven here. And I see I got eight over here so i don't know so seven then plus that one is eight looks like something different but i don't know total sale was 18 cents and that's what i pay out the door and out the store was 18 cents for all of this over-the-counter medication on february the 15th 2024 um next receipt is my valentine's day heart balloons i got four at one cent each and y'all saw where i got those they weren't even blowed up i kindly asked them and politely asked him could you blow these up for me he blew them up and then rung them up no i think he rung them up first then blew them up and i was like mm -hmm. i was like would you like me to pay now before you blow them up or you know <laughs> um february 15 2024 i paid a total of four cents out the door and out the store for my four Valentine's Day balloons, okay? Valentine's Day balloons are the only items that I'm aware of that I could think of right now that pennies the very next day after the holiday is gone. Everything else as far as Valentine's Day decorations, bears, gifts, and stuff like that will go to 50% off. The candy and stuff like that, I believe, starts at 25% off. But everything else will go to 50% off. The following Tuesday, it'll go to 70% off. The Tuesday after that, it'll go to 90% off. The Tuesday after that, it will be a penny and stay a penny as long as you find it. But they're supposed to pull these items before that last Tuesday and throw them in the trash. Some say they send them back, but don't believe that. They throw them in the trash, and I know this because I also dumpster dive, okay? And I'm talking to newbies um, right now. I know you vets know this already. But um, that's the easiest way to remember when something is about to penny. But these items here, they were not 50% off first. I'm talking about seasonal items. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, summer, spring, winter, clothes and hats and gloves and summer balloons and water balloons, to uh, toys, water guns. Bubbles, well, the bubbles have been excluded for the past few years. I don't know why. But swimming pools and shovels and rakes and planters and all of that stuff, that's seasonal stuff, okay, and holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Christmas, that stuff. The day after the holiday is gone, the very next day, it will hit 50% off and stay 50% for an entire week till next Tuesday. And then... The Tuesday after that, it'll go to 70% off. The Tuesday after that, it'll go to 90% off. And then that Friday or Saturday, they get an email from corporate saying, hey, go ahead and pull the rest of your 90% off items or summer items or whatever the case may be at that time and discard of them. Some stores do it. Some stores don't. You know, some stores get some, but they can't get all. Some stores are really good. That's why you'll notice when stuff first hit 50% off, some stores will pull everything towards the front of the store. They'll put it in carts and buggies and bins and on a table so they know where it is. So right before it pennies out, they can just bag it all up or box it all up, take it out. 
But other stores, stuff still be on the regular aisles, on the end caps, over there by the food, over there by the dog food. It be all over the store. So they they can't even pull it if they wanted to because it's everywhere. And they still have to run the register. They have to stock items. They have to do so much. So, you know, you right now, when the items aren't on the list, like these are surprise pennies. These weren't even on a penny list. So the stores did not know to pull these items. All of this stuff that Penny recently in the clearance section, they didn't know to pull them. And that day when I went in, that first day when I was picking up my daughter, Alani, and I found the curling irons, y'all know I hadn't been penny shopping in weeks since I had lost my sister and that other stuff that was going on in DG when they called the police on me and trespassed me. I had no idea. I haven't looked at no penny list, nothing. So I literally just happened to walk in there and I was so dumbfounded. Like, dang, everything I'm scanning is a penny. What's going on? Y'all know I thought the app was glitching. And then I started seeing y'all's comments and stuff. And I was like, oh, so they just had a huge penny list. Not a penny list, but, you know, because the stuff wasn't on a list. So that's why everybody's been getting lucky finding these items because... If it's not on the penny list, the stores don't know it's a pull. But y'all need to go out and get these items because y'all know these managers and stores watch our videos. Oh, they watch them. They're in the Facebook groups and everything. And also, I'm going to bring y'all another video um, about what DG employees feel and say about us. I got some tea for y'all. I just have not had time to get to it. Here's another receipt. This is the Twix. All one cent for all four of them. My total sale was four cent out the door and out the store. And that was also February 15, 2024. The UPC number is always on the receipt. See, that one ends in 4545. And watch this. 4545. Four, okay? So that's what I was just explaining to y'all. If I ever forget to show you the UPC number or you can't see it or whatever the case may be, it's always on the receipt. I am missing a piece of candy. That's the Santa Hershey that I also found right before I found the Twix. One cent. And I also got that on February the 15th, 2024. 811. I believe I got this first. Yep, because this one says 817. Okay. So somebody done sold that candy and probably done ate it already. Sarai, probably. I ain't gonna say no names. Oh, I already did. But that's all my receipts, y'all. So I hope y'all are having a great day, afternoon, evening, whenever you are watching this video. And um, I love y'all so much. Please don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Facebook. <clears throat> um, and please hit that black subscribe button here on YouTube. It is free. Everything black is not free, honey. I know I'm not. Please, please give the video a thumbs up, meaning like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. All I ask y'all is y'all is to give me some type of feedback to let me know how I'm doing. Um, please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. Please watch the ads if you can. Do not skip the ads. Please watch the ads. That helps with my algorithm and financially it helps me, okay? Also, if you see something on the ads that you like, don't look at it and be like, oh, I'm going I'm to go buy that. I'm going to look that up and buy it after I get done watching Sade's video. No, purchase it on my ad, please, because I think I'll get a commission for that if you purchase anything that you see on the ads when you watch my ads, okay? um, What else? Send stars, you know, stars are equivalent to one cent each. Just like the roses on TikTok is equivalent to one penny. I've been asking everybody to send me a star. Nobody has sent me a star yet. However... Some of you, Octavia, um, I shouted y'all out and sent screenshots at the end of my last penny video of the ones that sent cash outs for Soleil's birthday. But as far as me, all I'm asking for is a penny and nobody has sent me a penny yet. Thank you for the people who listened in the last video and stopped sending emojis in the comment section and start putting at least three words or more. Hey, cat dog. Hey, Donald Duck. Whatever. The three little pigs. I just need three words or more from my algorithm. Emojis do not count per YouTube, okay? Um, and some of y'all listened because I said that in the beginning of my ending. Normally, I say it at the end of the video. So now I know all of the people that never stay to the end of the video because they never heard my message. And I've been saying this for a little, like I said, over the past hundred videos I've done. I've been saying it at the end of every video. So that shows me that nobody watches the video to the end. So when you can't find something or you can't do a deal or 
you can't be mad at in anybody but yourself because I explain a lot of things throughout the video. Not always at the end. I do it throughout. So people don't know where to fast forward and rewind and all this. That's your fault, baby, not mine. And I will not repeat it in the comment section. Y'all been watching me for a long time. Y'all know that. That's one thing I will not do. That's not me being rude. If you want to learn, you'll sit there and watch the video. I don't care if it's 40 minutes long. That's if you want to learn. If not, it's plenty of other people that make videos. But I know one thing everybody has always said, and when I say everybody, I mean everybody in the world, has always said Sade explains it better than anybody I've ever watched. Okay? Don't call me delusional. I said everybody, and I meant that. <laughs> I love y'all. Last but not least, please share, share, share if you dare, honey. And I will see you guys on the next video. We're celebrating Sully's birthday tomorrow. See you guys there. Virtually. Love ya. Toodles.